Namaste everyone. My name is Dr. Ravi Andrews and I'm a nephrologist. I have been working at Apollo Hospitals for the last 20 years. Today, uh, we are going to discuss and address some frequently asked questions in chronic kidney disease or CKD. What is chronic kidney disease? Chronic kidney disease is something, a kidney disease which has been going on for at least three months. Now this is to differentiate it from acute kidney disease. Now most of people believe that acute means severe or chronic means severe, but this is not true. Actually, acute and chronic is differentiated by the duration of illness. So for example, in kidney disease, if somebody has kidney disease for three months or more, it's called chronic kidney disease. If the disease is there for less than three months, it's called acute kidney disease. So when we talk about chronic kidney disease, we've been talking about something which has been going on for at least three months. And the best way to identify this is to do something called a serum creatinine. If it was elevated three months ago and is still elevated by the time the person comes to the nephrologist, it is chronic kidney disease. If three months ago it was normal and now it is increased, it's likely to be acute kidney disease. What are the three common causes of CKD? The three common causes of CKD all over the world, starting with first, diabetes, second, hypertension, and two, indiscriminate use of medications, especially antibiotics and painkillers. So diabetes, blood pressure, and medications are the three common causes of chronic kidney disease. What are the early warning signs of CKD? How can you find out if somebody has got CKD? We can go systematically from the head to toe to figure out the early warning signs of CKD. So starting with the face area, people with CKD usually have anemia and this can be manifested as a pale conjunctiva or pale lips or pale tongue. They can have swelling of the face. Some people have breathing difficulty so lower down they feel heaviness in the chest. Below that, many some people can have loss of appetite. Sometimes they can have vomiting. People have urinary symptoms and most of the time this is decreased urine output. But some people can also have an excessive urine output. So somebody who has got more urine or less urine has possibly early signs of CKD. And finally, if patients have swelling in the feet, this is another indication of chronic kidney disease or another early sign. What are the stages of CKD? Now most nephrology manuals talk about five stages of CKD and the methods they use to stage them is little complicated. We use something called the GFR or the glomerular filtration rate and this is a calculated value based on other parameters more specifically the creatinine. And this calculation will decide, the level will decide what stage of CKD you are in. So it's stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll tell you quickly about the GFR and then tell you an easier method to decide what the stages of CKD are. So stage 1 will be normal GFR, but some abnormality in the kidneys on the ultrasound, some abnormality in the urine, like they might have protein in the urine, or some abnormalities in the blood, like increased uh, potassium or low acid levels and finally a kidney biopsy could tell you if it is stage 1 CKD or not. Even with a normal GFR you could still have kidney disease based on a biopsy. Stage 2 is when the GFR is between 60 and 90. Stage 3 when the GFR is between 30 and 60. Stage 4 GFR between 15 to 30 ml per minute and below 15 ml per minute is considered stage 5. Now this is a complicated method to decide about the stages. An easy rule of thumb which most nephrologists use is do a serum creatinine. So if the creatinine is normal but you have some abnormalities in the urine or the ultrasound or in the biopsy or in the blood that would be stage 1. Stage 2 is a creatinine of 2. Stage 3 creatinine of 3. Stage 4 creatinine 4 and if it's more than 5 it is likely to be stage 5. So this is an easy method to remember the stages of chronic kidney disease. Stage 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Stage 1 creatinine 1. Stage 2 creatinine 2. Stage 3 creatinine 3. Stage 4 creatinine 4. And stage 5 more than 5 creatinine. 
what tests can be useful in the diagnosis of CKD. The basic tests, like I alluded to in the beginning of this video, is the serum creatinine. But we can do other tests as well. In fact, we should do other tests as well to try and figure out the stage and the diagnosis of CKD. And these tests include a complete urine examination, an ultrasound of the abdomen, specifically the kidneys, a urine protein estimation if it is possible and a serum electrolytes. So if you want to understand the extent of the chronic kidney disease you have, you will have to do a serum creatinine, serum electrolytes, a complete urine examination, urine protein estimation and an ultrasound of the abdomen specifically of the kidneys. Now this is an important question. What is the best treatment plan for CKD? Ideally, as in any chronic disease, the first thing you need to look at is figure out the underlying cause and treat it. For example, in CKD, if you're specific here, diabetes and blood pressure are the most important causes. So you have to make sure that the blood sugar is under control and your blood pressure is under control with whatever medications are required. In addition to this, for a CKD patient, ensure that they don't take any unnecessary medications. Make sure they don't take painkillers and antibiotics because these are the commonest causes of CKD or worsening of CKD. Make sure your lifestyle is well controlled. Avoid too much salt. Take enough fluids and avoid dehydration. Avoid smoking and alcohol. Exercise regularly. Keep your weight under control. Make sure that your diet is well prescribed by a, either a nephrologist or a dietitian and avoid too much red meat, take enough fruits and vegetables and doing these things and keep a positive attitude. Doing these things will ensure that you can damage limit your CKD problem and maybe even reduce the risks of long term problems. So diabetes control, blood pressure control, weight control, diet control and lifestyle modifications are the key to treating CKD. Plus there are certain few medications as well which will be prescribed by your nephrologist. Can CKD be completely cured? I really wish it could be but the reality and the truth is any chronic disease whether it's kidney disease, lung disease, heart disease, liver disease can never be completely cured. But we can limit the damage and we can slow down the progression. We cannot reverse chronic kidney disease nor can we stop it at that particular stage. But with lifestyle modifications, follow up with a nephrologist or your primary care physician, good diet, controlling the underlying factors of diabetes and blood pressure and making sure you are on regular follow up. We can slow down the progression and many patients with chronic kidney disease can lead a reasonable fruitful and productive lifestyle. So, Namaste once again. Thank you all very much for paying attention and being with us here today. I hope I have answered most of the frequently asked questions in CKD. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.